the crime of unlawfully killing a person, especially with malice of forethought, something very difficult or dangerous, something outrageous or blameworthy, a flock of crows. Certainly, at this point in time, more honeybees and other pollinator bees are killed by poor beekeepers and poor horticultural techniques than by the natural predation of bees by birds and other insects, including the Asian giant hornet. Rest easy. For those of you who have in past years come to the IEBA booth and begun your conversations with local beekeepers by claiming to have been stung by a honeybee, we will not tell you that you've mistaken a honeybee for an Asian giant hornet. There is a notable size difference, apparently a very notable sting difference, and the Asian giant hornet is not in our neck of the woods at this time. Is it coming this way? Maybe. They have slipped past our homeland security agents. There is statewide concern, but there's also the Cascade Mountain Range between us and them, and researchers believe that they will not be pleased with the Columbia Basin as habitat. The Asian giant hornet, named Vespa mandarinia by British Museum entomologist Frederick Smith way back in 1852, is common in Japan. The Japanese know it well. This insect lives generally in the subtropics and temperate zones of eastern and southeastern Asia. It likes low mountains and forested areas. Do you spend a lot of your summer at the lake? How big? A honeybee is 1 to 1.5 centimeters long. We're talking one half inch, more or less. This hornet, the worker hornet, is 3.5 to 5 centimeters long, about 2 inches. The queen hornet, 7.6 centimeters, is about 3 inches. This is a hornet that you'll instantly recognize. And your first inclination, were you to be in Whatcom County and see one, that is currently where you'd have to go if you want to find one, would be to leave it alone. Exactly. Report it to the WSDA. This is a link you can easily find if you type Asian Giant Hornet Washington State into an internet browser and click on the WSDA site. Are beekeepers worried about this hornet? They are. This hornet has the ability to do serious damage to honeybee and other social bee colonies. North American bees have not evolved with this hornet, so they've honed no effective defenses. Referencing a chart on the WSDA site, since late September 2019, nine hornets have been found, all in Whatcom County, from north to south, Blaine, Birch Bay, Custer, and Bellingham. Disturbingly, WSDA staff believe the Hornet has shown the ability to overwinter from fall 2019 to summer 2020. What are they doing here? How did they get here? Well, one of the things human beings are really good at is opening doors for invasive species. The hornet may have hitchhiked with international transport. This hornet has been found in British Columbia as well. Lots of trade comes into the Vancouver and Seattle area ports. There is some speculation that it may have been intentionally brought in as a food delicacy. For fun, consider doing an internet search for Asian giant hornet recipes. You'll not be disappointed. But for now, don't fret about it. We have more pressing issues on our plates. WSDA posts current information about the Asian giant hornet on their website. Perhaps more of interest to area beekeepers than the general public, 
the WSDA has a YouTube channel with current media regarding the Hornet. And yes, there is a Facebook page, Asian Giant Hornet Watch. We'll look forward to seeing you in person again at the fair in 2021.